It is a true spiritual tendency to be able to move on from the past. And yet I've been surprised how many people can't. How many people keep bringing up things that happened in childhood a lifetime ago. Or even last year or last month. And they're still locked in that time period and they can't get out. Sometimes we have, as human beings, the worst tendency to be our own worst critics. And we think constantly about things that we have done or bad habits that we've had, and we constantly condemn ourselves for that and think that we're less because of it, even if we have risen above that. But the first thing to know as a spiritual person is that God never condemns us. Then, if that is the case, why should we condemn ourselves? The past has no power Again, I'm going to repeat that. The past, your past, has no power over you unless you give it the power in your imagination because the past no longer exists unless you bring it up and envision it over and over again. So if someone else tries to throw the past in your face... You know what you can do? You can duck. How do you do this? By moving on with your life. And you bless that person, knowing that the past is merely a stepping stone to today. That it served its purpose and got you to where you are today in your growth and in your spiritual growth. Only God has power over us. If we have declared ourselves to be absolutely free from negative habits and the past, we forgive our life for the compulsions that it has had in the past over us. And we let those habits be where they belong in the past. And we remember that our life has the potential for a renewed God-given life that is continually being brought forth. It is God's will that it's continually being brought forth. So we do our part as human beings. We release the past, and we begin to live totally now in this moment. And we give thanks to God that it is so. I pray that you do, and I pray that this is a time for you to move on in your life and have the greatest life that you have ever had thus far.